Watch you guys got another video on how to fix your unreadable raw micro SD card or SD card or in any type of uh, card that you may be using for your camera or for your capture device or anything like that. As you can see here, I want to show you exactly what I do when I'm trying to repair these particular uh, SD cards or micro SD cards. When I do this here, you'll see I get error messages on this card when I try to read it here. And you can see I'm getting issues with the actual card itself it says raw and i can't do anything with it doesn't matter whether i delete the volume try to recreate the volume like i'm going to show you right now i'm trying to show you exactly what i do because a lot of people on youtube will just actually talk about it and i'm trying to show you in my videos exactly what to do with an actual real issue and i think that's the way forward as you can see here uh, it still doesn't uh, matter what i do i'm still getting the raw popping up on the card itself and it means the card is unusable and I can't use that card until I fix it. So let's go about trying to fix this. Now the card could be faulty uh, but more than likely the card is okay and I'm going to show you how we can test it and basically get that working again. So you can see it up there the F drive for the card. It means I cannot use the card because I can't access it because it's not readable. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you uh, the next step on some of the things that you might want to try. So let's right click on it and go properties. And uh, what we're going to do here is go to tools and try to run a check disk on the actual card itself to see whether that fixes the problem. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to, but we'll give it a go. And you can see it can't access the actual card itself. Now, what I try to do with my videos is actually show you a problem and then fix it. I think that's the way that videos need to be because obviously, talking about fixing something that you haven't got in front of you is not much point because basically you can go and read a load of stuff on the internet and it's not going to work for you and it can be very frustrating. Another great tool is the Raspberry Pi Imager. This will allow you to erase the actual drive itself. But again, when you go to erase it, you can see I've selected the drive here. It's going to say all existing data on that drive will be erased. I'm going to say, yes, I want to continue. And what you'll see here is probably going to get another error message like error determine the new drive letter and it won't be able to work. So these things you can try and uh, you can follow along and try to fix them by using these methods. But if they don't, I'll show you some other things you can do. OK, so I'm going to open up command prompt here as administrator. And what we're going to do here is going to type disk part in here and we'll see whether we can get anything from here to see whether we can get it to work. Now, I've used this part many times before, and it's worked pretty well for me. You can see the drive here on their 119 gigabytes. It's important that you get the right drive selected, because if you select the wrong drive, it's going to erase that drive. So make sure when you're messing around in command prompt that you know what you're doing. You can see here on the list of disk management, disk part uh, is talking about disk two which is my raw disk, which is the one that we're interested in. So that's the one that we're going to be going for. And uh, you can't put any sort of drive letter on it or anything like that or try to access it. It won't allow you to access the drive. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put in a bunch of commands here and see if we can get it to fix itself and try to use it. Now, you can try to clean command and all that stuff uh, if you want to. But I'm just going to select the disk two here. And what we're going to do is we've got uh, disk two now selected. And what I'm going to do is do another command. And hopefully uh, this will resolve the issue. So we're going to go list volume here. And this will show us the volumes. So let's go ahead and put that on there. And you can now see the volumes on this computer. And I'm checking to see the status of this. And you can see it says it's actually healthy. So I know the drive is in good working order. It says volume four, removable. Uh, 119 gigabytes and it says status healthy so that's good it means the drive is functional but it's just got a problem with itself so what we need to do is we can investigate further and try to fix it so let's go ahead and select volume 4 then and we'll go ahead and finish off here and I'll show you another option that we can try so let me go ahead and select volume 4 and this is just the tell command prompt or disk part that we're going to be working with disk 4 or volume 4 or volume two or volume one or disc two or whatever it is that you type in. So we are working now with volume four, which is our removable 119 gigabyte drive. It's now selected 
and now we can work on it. So that's basically either select the volume or you're selecting the actual drive itself. Now you can click format and you can type in your command here for formatting. If you want to format the whole drive, you can select disk uh, two, one, whatever it is, disk number you've got, and you can format that as well. And you can either make it NTFS, XFAT, or whatever it is you want to do at this stage and try to push enter and it will try to format the card and basically put it back. And you see we're getting an error here and it's not allowing us to do that. So let's go ahead and type clean and that's not working as well. Access denied and it's not letting us work on that card at all. So what we're going to do here is we'll exit out of this and we'll try another method which has worked for me before in the past. So let's go ahead and exit out. Now you may have seen me using mini tool before and they advertise their free version here but to be honest with you it's just not worth using a mini tool free version anymore like a lot of the other ones the free version just doesn't have anything in it anymore and when they're a small company they used to give you quite a bit of useful stuff uh, for use on the free edition but now you can see you can't do anything with this you can't even uh, you know format the drive inside here anymore you have to buy the full version but you can do a surface test here as well so we'll do a surface test to make sure the card is working and functioning okay but like i said i wouldn't recommend mini tool anymore i don't really sort of recommend the free versions of stuff that don't give you anything anymore so there's plenty of other ones out there you can use that actually give you more uh, tools to use for free and uh, if you want to you, you can use some of the older versions of mini tool that have a lot more features on them and uh, basically they still function perfectly fine and uh, but that's the only thing I wouldn't recommend nowadays is mini tool for uh, the free version it's just not worth it and you can see the surface scan has come back complete and it's okay there's no read errors or anything like that or no block damage so mini tool is a complete waste of time now because you can't do anything with the free version so we're just going to quickly exit out of this and uh, what we're going to do is like I said you try and try and do anything on here like wipe disk uh, it will ask you to purchase it and you can see here I'm just going to do a sector of zeros here as soon as you click OK here it will tell you to purchase the full version click apply down the bottom and uh, this is something I don't like about these particular types of software companies that get you to install something and then eventually it doesn't work now Disk Genius is still very usable it's got a lot of good functions on it for free and you can use it. I'll leave a link in the video description for this one because this one's worth a mention. So you can see here, we've got the actual drive here. I'm going to select the drive. And uh, what you can do is you can do a lot of things on here that work perfectly fine. And I'm just going to erase the drive and then I'm going to try to recreate uh, the drive here. So you can do a scan for bad sectors and stuff like that here. All you need to do is just verify and it will do a much more in depth scan on that drive. Uh, but I've already done that. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to move on to the next bit, which is erasing the drive. But if you do want to repair the drive, you can do it from here. It will find bad sectors and it will list them. But what we're going to do here is we're going to erase these sectors here. We're just going to overwrite the uh, drive itself. So I'm going to erase it just by using the erase tool, which is built into this program here. So let's go ahead and erase this. Click OK here. Make sure you're selecting the right drive and we'll click OK. And you can see here, we're going to click on Erase. And once we do this, this should start the process. So let me click OK again. This is popping up. I'm hoping this is going to work. And there we go. It's starting to work now. This does take a fair bit of time, so be patient. Just going to scrub the drive clean. Now, I'll save you the pain of watching that go. Next up, what we're going to do is create a new partition for this now. Now we've completely erased the drive. So we're going to click OK here. And what we're going to do is leave this FAT32. And uh, we're just leaving all the settings as is. Click OK. And now what we need to do is save all up the top here. Just click on Save All. And uh, once we've done this, hopefully, you'll get another box saying, are you sure you want to write all the changes to the disk? We're going to say, yes, we do. Do you want to format it? I'm going to say, yes. And we're going to just format that. And voila, we seem to have got a drive now working and functioning properly just like so. And you can see here on there, we've got the drivers FAT32. Everything is working okay. And uh, hopefully we can now access the drive and we have now resolved our problem. So let me just quickly close this program off 
and we'll go to our Explorer to see whether we can access the drive itself. So that's basically how you can resolve those issues. You can see all the information here. So the drive was functioning properly. It just was uh, corrupted in some way, shape or form, and it wouldn't let you use the drive. But that's basically how you can get a, a raw drive that's not working properly. And you've tried quite a few different things there, as you can see in this video. And now the drive is working perfectly fine. It's important that you understand that the drive needs to be working correctly if you're going to continue to use the drive. There's no point using the drive if it has bad sectors or it comes up with errors. But you can see it's functioning perfectly fine here now. And it's a 120 uh, gigabyte uh, drive. So that's quite a useful drive to have. And that's basically it. That is how you can fix raw SSDs or micro SSD cards or any other type of uh, card that you may be using on Windows 11 here. Uh, or you can do it on Windows 10. And uh, that is it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three, I really do appreciate it. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next one or see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.